First food stop was Neptune Oyster, which I highly recommend for any tourist visiting Boston that loves seafood. We ordered a bunch of local oysters plus some clams and crab, all super fresh and delicious. And then for another appetizer, we got a Johnny Cake, which is this amazing sweet and savory pancake topped with white fish and caviar. And one more oyster because my fiance forgot to order one that I requested. Neptune also had a special that day, which was a lobster, tomato, and mozzarella salad with basil pesto dressing, which was good with some meaty lobster. But the real star of the show here in terms of lobster is their amazing lobster roll. Super meaty and sweet, and it usually comes with fries, but we got salad to get some vegetables in. After that, we had to get dessert at Mike's Pastry, which is the famous cannoli shop in Boston. They have a bunch of different options for fillings and toppings, but we got two of the classic ricotta filling with one topped with pistachios. And both of them were super rich and super delicious. There's no way to hide when it's strange. After eating all that food, we walked the Freedom Trail, which we split over two days. You basically follow this red brick trail that takes you to historic spots around the city, and it's a good way to see different parts of Boston while getting a good walk in. We both really loved all the brick architecture throughout the city and we walked through this super nice neighborhood where everything looked gorgeous. Then for dinner we went to a famous Italian spot Giacomo's in the North End. It was definitely touristy, but we are tourists and the seafood pastas we had actually both tasted amazing, so no regrets here. The next day was a warm day with pouring rain, but that didn't stop us from getting more seafood at Salty Girl with this mini seafood tower to start. And we did order a couple of other things, but our favorite was the lobster roll, and it was a lot smaller than the one at Neptune, but the bread was so buttery and perfectly toasted that I would recommend both. The rain stopped a few hours later and we found the Boston Public Library's beautiful courtyard completely by accident, so we explored that area for a bit. Then for our next meal, we went to Pagu, which is this modern Asian fusion tapas restaurant in Cambridge. We started off with a papaya salad, a cheesy mochi waffle, and a squid ink unagi bao, which as someone who loves unagi, I absolutely love. Another big favorite were these spicy biang biang noodles with pork, which were seriously amazing, so flavorful and spicy, and the noodles were perfect. Then quick pivot into our last meal in Boston at Fox and the Knife with this amazing cheese pull. The owner and chef here was on Top Chef, and she specializes in modern Italian, so all the pastas are house-made and everything we had was amazing. Feeling so interstellar. When I'm with you, I swear I'm in heaven, baby. 